Hello welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we tell you about Italian unification. Italian unification, also known as the Risorgimento, was a political and social movement that led to the unification of Italy as a single nation state in 1861. The movement, which began in the 1820s, was led by figures such as Giuseppe Garibaldi, Camillo di Cavour, and Victor Emmanuel II. The idea of Italian unification had been around for centuries, but it was not until the 1820s that a real movement began to form. The Congress of Vienna, which was held in 1815 to re-establish order in Europe after the Napoleonic Wars, had divided Italy into a number of small states, each controlled by different powers. This fragmentation made it difficult for Italy to compete with other European nations, and many Italians began to call for a united Italy. The movement for Italian unification was led by a group of politicians, intellectuals, and military leaders who believed in the idea of a unified Italy. They worked to build support for the cause by spreading nationalist ideas and by working to create a sense of national identity among the Italian people. One of the key leaders of the movement was Camillo di Cavour, who was the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Piedmont Sardinia. He played a key role in bringing the different states of Italy together. And he is often considered to be the architect of Italian unity. Another important figure in the Italian unification movement was Giuseppe Garibaldi. He was a military leader who fought in a number of battles to help bring the different states of Italy together. He is best known for his Expedition of the Thousand, in which he led a group of volunteers to conquer the kingdom of the two Sicilies. This conquest helped to bring the southern states of Italy into the movement for unification. Finally, the eventual king of Italy, Victor Emmanuel II, played a key role in the final stages of the unification process. His political skills and military successes in wars with Austria in 1859, and later with France in 1866, helped to secure the final unity of Italy under the his rule. The unification of Italy was a long and difficult process, but it was ultimately successful. The new nation-state of Italy was officially established on March 17, 1861, and Victor Emmanuel II was declared the first king of a united Italy. The Risorgimento, as it came to be known, represented a significant moment in Italian history and it marked the emergence of Italy as a modern nation-state.